Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here. I'm just sitting here drinking my morning coffee. Thought I would uh, do a video for you guys and gals. All right. So, I just saw a guy in the comments um, here on the tubes who said something. He asked a few questions, and this is a repeated problem I've seen. This is a problem I've seen with clients who have come to me. And he's saying, oh, I'm stuck at this squat, and uh, you know, he's putting out really ridiculous height and weight numbers for someone who lifts. Like, he's like, I'm 5'10", 150 pounds, and I'm thinking, well, you're, you're way too skinny. That's why you're not getting stronger. Um, 150 at 5'10", is, is unless you are shredded, absolutely shredded to the bone, you have no muscle. So... <sighs> He, um, he explained, well, I've bulked in the past and I got skinny fat. So I'm thinking, this guy bulked, right? This guy bulked. Why are you 150? And, and reading that, it tells me everything I need to know. I've watched this happen numerous times with clients. Um, people who've come to me who are like, I'm stalled. I'm still stuck at new numbers. I've been training two years, not always consistently, three years off and on. And <clears throat> they give you numbers like that and they're always skinny and they have no muscle and still no strength. And, and this is something I've watched over and over and over. Skinny guys try to bulk too fast. And when I say skinny, I don't mean skinny like Robbie. You guys remember Robbie, he was like 6'3", 140. But he could still squat almost 200 pounds. He'd been training and he, he had IBS and then we fixed it and got him up over 200 pounds body weight over a couple of years, okay? He bulked for two years straight before we did a cut. And the thing that I would, I would look at any of these skinny noobs and say, when you are bulking, you need to ask the question, is the rate of weight gain you are gaining right now, can you sustain this for one to two years and be happy with it? And usually the answer is gonna be, oh God, no, I would be 300 pounds, okay. So why are you bulking that fast? What possible benefit do you think there is? And I'm not saying getting fat won't gain muscle, but you better really know what you're doing when you're cutting. And guys do do that, but you accept that you're going to lose muscle. And if it's a bunch of new games that you haven't had spent years building and solidifying, you're going to lose all of it. And I've watched it happen. Uh, so here's what I would say to these guys. If you're gaining, if you're a skinny noob who's going to want to cut one day, see, this is the difference. When I have people who are like, I'm going to want to be lean with abs, well, you better bulk crazy slow. Okay? Uh, and when you say that, guys are like, what, what do you mean? A pound a month? That's half a kilogram, 500 grams a month, guys, for those who don't use freedom units. For a skinny novice, that's perfectly reasonable. Now, will you get people who say, but you won't maximize your gains? That's true but it'll be mostly lean. In fact, I'll go venture to say that if they train hard, and most of them don't train hard, because a lot of them, they think they train hard. They think they train hard because for one set, every workout they use really crappy form and grind out bad, bad reps. No, they don't train hard, they train. They don't know how to train. Um, they don't understand consistent hard sets, push to the edge with good form. No form breakdown, everything with perfect form. That's training hard. Without cheating weights up, using good ranges of motion. But they don't usually train hard. They always find the easiest way to do an exercise instead of once uncomfortable. Uh, but assuming they're training hard, let's go to get that point straight. Assuming they're training hard, training the way they know they need to train, not how they want to train. Sure, they may stimulate more than one pound of muscle growth a month, but in that case, they're gonna gain all lean. All of it's gonna be lean, all of it. And they won't have to cut. See how beautiful that is? But the thing is, these guys are like, but I should be able to add whatever. Wait, your novice program has just had five pounds every workout. No, it doesn't. It's not true, it does. You add five pounds every workout till you miss stuff and then you reduce it. You do it over and over and over. Why, why do we do that? To keep you close to failure, that's it. That's the only reason. Because if you don't take novices to where they get to where they can't complete a rep, oh, I can only squeeze out four reps. Oh, now I've got to reduce the weight 10%. How close are they to failure now the next week? 
really close. We keep doing that. That's it's a check. It's not about adding five pounds every workout. It's to make sure that they're training hard because we come back over to people don't know how to train hard. You try to make them do sets to where they can't complete all the reps and they have to rack it. And they're like, I can't, I know I can't get another rep. So then they have to reduce the weight 10% and repeat the process and just keep adding weight. And then when it gets too hard, they reduce it and then add weight to set a system put in place for that to make sure that they train hard to ensure it. So it's not about the, the five pounds. But yeah, so so what? You got to reset more often on a novice program. But at least you know you're training hard, and at least you know what you're gaining is lean. But these guys, when you ask them how fast did they gain, it'll be I gained four pounds a month. It'll be like I gained twenty pounds in three months. Like okay, so you gained sixteen pounds of fat. And now you got to cut sixteen pounds of fat. Are you an expert on cutting? You know a lot about nutrition and training? No. So you got to lose 20 pounds, 4 pounds of its muscle, 16 pounds of its fat. You lose 20%, 25% of which you lose is muscle on the cut. You're right back where you started. Congratulations. You wasted three months bulking like a pig. Six weeks, eight weeks cutting, and now you're back where you started. If they had just gained one pound a month for that five months, they would be up five pounds of muscle tissue and it would all be muscle. Here's the point I would say to these noobs, gain one pound a month for two years straight and then tell me you, you haven't built a base. One pound a month with good programming, two years. That's 24 pounds, 25 pounds your body composition won't be any worse than where you started. This is your solution. Otherwise, the, the fast bulks and then the cutting, you, you, you basically waste five, six months of your life over and over and over. You get nowhere. Zero progress, and I've seen it numerous times. Complete waste of time. Stop doing this stuff, guys. Slow bulk. The guys who gain two pounds or three pounds a month are the guys who don't care if in three years they have abs or not because they don't care. And that's okay. That's an acceptable goal. But understand that that is the, that is the situation. Exceeding two pounds a month is, is, is pushing it. And even if your, your goal is to maximize gains, you shouldn't need to gain more than two pounds a month. That is the extreme end. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I'll talk to you guys next time.